<laughs> oh, you don't say. You don't say. Hi. Welcome to the Fairyland Kitchen. We are going to be doing some cooking today. And I couldn't find my chef's hat, so I put this hat on. Awkward. So today, we're going to be making something so easy. It's like one of the easiest things you can make, and I've made it a bunch of times. They are peanut butter banana balls. Now, if you're allergic to peanuts, this is not the recipe for you, so we'll find another recipe to make for you. Okay, so to start off with our peanut butter banana balls, we need bananas. How many do we need? Two of them. And I already washed my hands before I began, but if you make these, make sure you wash your hands, okay? So to start, we're going to peel our bananas. Wait a minute, this reminds me of a song. Get your fake bananas ready. Here we go. Peel bananas, peel, peel bananas, peel bananas, peel, peel bananas, chop bananas, chop, chop bananas, chop bananas, chop, chop bananas, smush bananas, smush, smush bananas, smush bananas, smush, smush bananas, mix bananas, mix, mix bananas, mix bananas, mix, mix bananas, eat bananas, eat, eat bananas. Eat bananas, eat, eat bananas. Go bananas, go, go bananas. Go bananas, go, go bananas. Moving on. This is a potato masher, but for today, it's a banana masher. But wait, I didn't open my second banana. Let's do that first. Second banana going in the bowl. Bananas are in the bowl. Now I'm going to take my masher and just like I just saying, I'm going to smush bananas, smush, smush bananas. It's easier to do this when it's on the counter. So I'm going to do that. Smush, smush, smushy, smush, smush. You want to really make sure it's smushed. Now I like to sometimes use bananas that maybe look like they're starting to get a little, little too ripe where the peels are starting to turn brown because even if they have a little bit of brown in them, it's all good because it's about to get mixed up with tons of other things. Okay, so my two bananas are just about all mashed up there. Okay, then I need to add some peanut butter. Okay, so for peanut butter, I need a third cup. That would be this. I don't even know where I'm looking. There we go, one third cup. <laughs> so I like to use some natural peanut butter so that it has less sugar in it. This is, this is more of a healthy option. So if you're looking for a healthy treat, that is what this recipe is good for. So I'm getting my third cup. I'm just using a spoon to put in the peanut butter. There we go. Just about good, let's level it out, boom. Third cup of peanut butter, here we go. Plopping it in the bowl. Plop, oh, it didn't plop. There we go, not plopped. Okay, got it in there. Next up, we need half a teaspoon of, anybody know what this is? Shouldn't show the brand name. Anybody know what this is? It smells so good. I'm going to, ooh, I almost dropped it. I'm okay, okay. Mmm, smells so good. It's called vanilla extract. Perhaps you like vanilla ice cream. Boom, vanilla extract in the bowl. So those are what we call our wet ingredients. The wet ingredients are what you want to mix first. So that was bananas, peanut butter, and vanilla extract. So they're all in my bowl. So now I'm going to do some mixing. Mix, 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 mix. If you want to mix along with me, you can go like this. And make sure you make this face. Okay, do that, mixing it up. Mix, you keep mixing too. I feel you mixing with me, thank you. Keep mixing, keep mixing. Go faster, 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 fast. Slow down, going too fast. Okay, keep on mixing. Mixing, mixing. Okay, and you know what? The recipe doesn't call for this. Now I know I just said I use natural peanut butter for, no, for less sugar, but I like to add in a little bit of honey just for a little bit, little bit of sweetness, but from a more natural way. Okay, there we go. Got a little bit of peanut butter, or, oh my goodness, this is honey. A little bit of honey in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix it even more. Mix, 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 keep mixing, remixing. Okay, mix, mix, 
the next and boom okay next up is the dry ingredients dry ingredients here we go we need oatmeal oatmeal is so good i use the old-fashioned oats and for that we're going to need about a cup not a cup, two cups, two and a half cups. This is one cup right here, one cup. So we're gonna have to do two and a half of these, okay? So, I'm gonna start pouring. There, maybe you can see me better now. Okay. <laughs> there we have one cup. And two cups. Then we need half a cup. That's this, it says half. So we're gonna fill up the half cup. There we go, that is two and a half cups. Boom, okay, and now, this is gonna be good. Super duper good. We need to add some chocolate chips. You can pick whichever kind of chocolate chips you like. I usually go for the dark chocolate chips. A little bit healthier than the milk chocolate. Oh my gosh, look at that. I just enough for half a cup left. Boom. Okay. Wow, I'm loud. Okay, spoon. Where'd my spoon go? Oh my goodness, it's in the bowl already. Guess what we need to do again? We need to mix, okay? So let's mix, 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 mix. This, I'm gonna pull it up a little bit just so you can see. Okay. I don't have fancy cameras like overhead hitting the bowl, like on food shows. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to make do with it, but it's all good. Okay, so we're gonna keep stirring. I'm gonna put it back down so I can stir it better. You really wanna make sure you mix up all those oats in the bowl. Make sure they all get coated with the peanut butter and banana mixture so that all the oats are sticking to each other. Get big, mixy, mix, 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 mix. Okay, now I like to let it sit in the refrigerator for at least two hours, I would say. You could probably do one hour, but I feel like it's easier to work with after about two hours. So I think I'm pretty good with my mixing. And as you can see, it's all stuck together in there, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it in the refrigerator, like I said, for about two hours. And then when it comes out of the refrigerator, you use your hands to roll it into little balls. So we will reconvene in a few minutes and see how they are. Actually, more than a few minutes. I gotta let it sit for two hours. I just said that. So, I'll be back, but thanks to technology, you don't have to wait two hours for me. You're about to see it right now in this next video. Okay, so I've waited a few hours and now I'm ready to finish my food. So, I'm gonna open up the fridge, pick up my bowl, all right, it is all ready to go now. If you didn't wash your hands yet, make sure you wash your hands if you are making them. I already washed mine before starting the video, so I'm ready to start. Now it looks like it's nice and firm in there, so it's ready for me to roll them. Okay, so you just grab a handful. You really could use a spoon, but I find it easier to use my hands, especially because I already washed them, so they're clean. So you just take some in your hand, and then you roll it up. And then you set it in your container. Okay, so just grab a handful and then you just roll it up a little bit. Boom. There you go. They don't have to be perfectly shaped or sized. I mean, I like to make mine a little bit smaller. That way I have more of them and they last a little longer. Now I like to eat these as a snack, maybe have a couple of them for breakfast, but it's a nice, pretty healthy snack that you can have. So there you go, you just keep rolling them up and voila, that is peanut butter oatmeal balls. <gasps> What's in here? <gasps> What's in here? <gasps> Side note, shout out to my dear friend, Miss Sandy, who gave me this container a long time ago. I use it every time I make these treats. So thank you, Miss Sandy. Okay. <gasps> they look so good. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see, how many do I have? Let's get at a better angle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Mm -mm. And you know what I like to do after I do some cooking? I like to do some eating.